What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're we'll going to be talking about the Halloween franchise in this video here again today. Mostly just the Halloween franchise and I'll teeter off into the Strangers because we got an exciting update regarding Madeline Pesci's role in the upcoming Stranger trilogy. And I will preface this by saying if you do not want any spoilers for the Strangers trilogy and Madeline Pesh, then click away once you hear me start talking about Madeline Pesh. Firstly though, I do want to thank those of you who took the time to reach out to me after this somewhat exciting news, and I'll get to why it's somewhat exciting. But yes, I do want to thank those of you who are all very sensible individuals who genuinely enjoy getting to know me because something about me, I guess, just makes you interested in knowing more about me beyond just what I upload for content purposes and for entertainment and discussions with a lot of you guys. Especially Drum Dums, who I want to personally name because Drum Dums has seen me be correct several times. This, of course, not being one of them, and that's fine. Thank you also to Fandom Empire and everyone else who has taken the time that you did not have to to reach out to me. And trust me, all is good on this end. I've stated in a lot of my videos that I do not mind being wrong. I was wrong about Sidney Prescott and Nev Campbell returning for Scream 6. I did not take that stuff down because I want it to stay up so that people can see that I really do not mind being wrong. I can confidently accept that my source was not correct in this instance. What I will not do is ignore the amount of times that they've been right with Maxine being a whodunit which has been confirmed. Scream 7 and Chris Landon, which was confirmed. Linda Blair and the Exodus Believer, confirmed. Radio Silence producing Scream 7, confirmed. And so much more that that person has been correct with, correct about with me. So I'm not going to cut them off. However, jumping into the actual official Halloween news, Deadline reported today that after a, after a heated bidding war, Miramax has scored the television rights to the hugely popular Halloween franchise, which are controlled by Trankus International Films run by Malika Cod. Miramax has signed a wide-ranging deal with Trankus to develop and co-produce a Halloween TV series. The new Halloween series is envisioned to potentially launch a cinematic universe spanning film and television. Miramax's head of global TV, Mark Helwig, will be overseeing the franchise creatively in close collaboration with Akkad. Guys, keep in mind Miramax already has hand has a hand in the rights to the films so with Paramount owning Miramax I believe since 2000 I believe Paramount seems like the likely distribution choice and A24 just completely fumbled unfortunately as many of you have actually <laughs> made comments that you're disappointed that it didn't go to A24 and a cinematic universe doesn't necessarily excite me all that much but a lot of great Michael Myers season of the witch and other content could be on our way or we could see the same frustration folks seem to have towards the mcu and dc as of now not everyone i still would love to see that loomis show that i've been thinking about that gradually builds to michael myers breaking out and going home a show that spends a few seasons on loomis and michael before continuing on the big screen if you want to do that and then allowing that same show that starts off being about loomis and myers to explore stories like charlie bowels or even another Corey cunningham type could be the perfect route to take or again, this could all just be overwhelming depending on how this is executed. I saw a lot of you guys feeling a little let down by the official news because you're like, really? A cinematic universe? And I'm assuming most of you might be fans of the MCU and DC. And you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all that content that they're putting out. So a lot of you also just seem to be completely tired of Michael Myers. Keep in mind, guys, a lot of you, like me, probably grew up on this stuff. So we're kind of in autopilot while the franchise is constantly being rediscovered by new people. While you have folks like me and many of you who listen to me who grew up on this stuff, and that's why you naturally would be tired of it, a lot of people were just introduced to Michael Myers courtesy of what Blumhouse put out in 2018 and what they continue to put out up until 2022. So we're kind of, again, just in autopilot with this franchise. It's a no-brainer, though, that they worked this fast to get Michael back out there because the 2018 film overperformed and the trilogy was a success, despite personal gripes that you may have with some of the later entries. It was a success. But yes, guys, that is the official update regarding Halloween. And again, I really do appreciate those of you who are sensible, rational, understand, and have taken note of how many times I have been correct and you reached out to me being respectful, being courteous, being kind and not or reminding me to just take this L with grace again no problems on this end it was a loss that's fine not a problem at all however I will say that I still am a little bit split on the news because a cinematic universe 
could be good it could be bad could be too much and a lot of people might be turned off by it but again guys that's probably just going to be the sentiment from folks like me who grew up with michael myers and have seen these movies countless times and you rightfully think that it's time for this ip to take a break it's time for michael to take a break it's time for them to just create new entertainment but however there's an argument to be made there's a reason why they aren't when you show up like this when they put out sequel after sequel after sequel timeline after timeline after timeline but we don't show up for some of the newer content you know they take note of that and that's why they feel confident and constantly regurgitating things like what they're doing with michael myers even though it's going to be a fresh approach it's also going to be teetering on a lot of things you've already seen so i get why a lot of you are disappointed by this but i'll remain open-minded i'll see what ends up coming out and we'll just go from there so talking about the strangers here Rennie Harlan, and I think as of now, there's a panel going on at New York Comic Con where there might be a, not might be, there is a first look of the strangers being disclosed to those in attendance. Rennie Harlan, though, sat down with Bloody Disgusting lately and said this about Madeline Pesh's role in the Strangers trilogy. Let's say it's no secret that the main character is Madeline Pesh, who was the star of the first movie, and she will continue to continue to the second and the third movie. And it's her journey that we are watching from the moment the first movie ends. We get to see what happens to her five minutes later. So she's going to be a part of chapter two. She's going to be a part of chapter three. So he's kind of already let it be known that she most likely is going to survive <laughs> chapter one, which I guess is fine. Maybe she doesn't survive and somehow she just still appears. But I'm going to assume she definitely seems to be surviving. I don't think we're getting a lot of flashbacks in part two and part three. I think she's going to ultimately just be our final girl who is alive, survives part one and continues on into part two and part three. That might be exciting news for those of you who are looking forward to understanding what Madeline Pesci's role would be in the upcoming Stranger Trilogy, because I know many of you like me are excited to see how she does in this role. And again, I've made a mention of the fact that when I was watching Riverdale, the person I was paying to paying attention to the most was Madeline, because I thought she was doing the best work out of a lot of the actors involved with that show, even though I gave up on it during season two. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. What do you think about the official news for Halloween? What do you think about Rennie Harlan's comments on Madeline Pesci? Pesci's role in the upcoming Strangers trilogy. I'll do another update on the Strangers if I have time later. I have to prepare for this four, nearly four-hour Martin Scorsese film. Uh, although it looks good, I am a little bit already just kind of taking a sigh of really because it's it's long. But I shouldn't be shocked knowing that filmmaker. Let me know down below if you haven't already. Course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Name this video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.